Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. How have you been? How's the summer treating you? Let me know in the comments down below. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel. We talk all about beauty and makeup and anything that comes to mind, let's be honest. We just have lots of fun here on this channel. So if that sounds interesting to you, maybe consider subscribing, but no pressure. We're still happy you're here watching. Oh, before we get started, let me show you my outfit. Okay, let me show you my outfit. This is from Walmart. You guys be sleeping on Walmart, but it is a little denim jumpsuit. I got it on clearance. I think it was like $9. It has buttons in the front, right? <laughs> I'm flashing you guys. These are snap buttons. These are shorts and they roll up. I have them rolled up right now. And we have some pockets and it has a little elastic waist, which works really well. Short sleeves. I love this little outfit. So again, it's available at Walmart. If I can find it, I will link it down below. Now let's go ahead and jump into this video where I will be sharing some of my favorite summer products that have become savior products for me in this warmer climate. For those of you who don't know, I've recently moved from New York to Florida where it's perpetually summer and I also just went on vacation to Jamaica which of course is a tropical island so I have been experiencing quite a lot of summer hot weather and when I say I needed some help child, I needed some rescuing and I found some products that have really come in the clutch and I want to share them with you even though we're like inching out of summer now we're still having some warm days and maybe these products can come in handy for you as well so if that sounds interesting to you let's go ahead and jump right into it so a little background before I get into the products and this may be a little bit TMI but you guys have to understand what I have been struggling with and why I needed these products, all right? It's been hot in Florida. It's 90 degrees plus every single day. And in Jamaica, whoo, it was extra hot. So it was 95 plus, all right? And I was by the beach. So I was experiencing some really hot weather. And guess what happens when it gets hot? Tina gets sweaty, okay? And I sweat in the most inopportune areas, okay? They're very unfortunate. And if you experience any of these sweaty situations like I do, then you know they can get very uncomfortable and sometimes a little bit embarrassing. So, okay, I needed some help. So, I have sweaty feet, first and foremost. Sweaty, sweaty feet, okay? The minute I step outside, if it's hot, my feet instantly start sweating, all right? They're always cold because they're sweating, right? Sweat cools you down, but they're always cold. They're always clammy. They're always wet. So they slip and slide out of shoes, especially sandals, which I'm going to be wearing sandals because it's hot outside. I want to be cute, right? I got a pedicure going on. I got the white toes. Like, I want to show my feet. I want to be cute and comfortable, so I'm in sandals. Feet are slipping and sliding everywhere okay it never fails as soon as i put on my cute sandals i'm about to fall out of them because my feet are already wet also also i sweat under my boobs oh my god and it's so uncomfortable because i will literally feel sweat running down my boobs can you imagine you probably can some of you can relate and not only does it run down from under my boobs and feel icky but then I have sweat stains and wet marks on my clothes under my boobs. <laughs> like, what is going on? It's one thing to have like wet underarms where people only see it if you lift your arms up so you can kind of conceal it, you know, like hold your arms down. When you sweat under your boobs, child, it's going to show all the sweat marks under your boob. And I ended up at a summer wedding one year where it was outdoors and I sat in the sun because there was no protection and I sat in the sun in a turquoise dress and I was drenched in sweat by the end of it and it looked like someone had spilled water on me. That's how crazy I sweat under my boobs. Now, hmm, I've also put on weight. So guess where else is sweating? You guessed it! Right between my thighs. Ooh, so much fun. 
It's wet, it's sticky, so not only are my feet sweating and my boobs sweating, but now my inner thighs are sweating and they rub together. So there's a little bit of chafing. I haven't experienced chafing, thankfully, because I have these hero products, but like they're rubbing together, it's uncomfortable, and if you sweat there, you know it's sticking together and it's so uncomfortable, all right? So I was on the hunt for products that would rescue me because I, I just couldn't, okay? I'm living in Florida, okay? I'm gonna need to be outside a lot. It's hot weather year round, so guess what? We're gonna need to figure it out. And I was able to find some really stellar products that work and I'm absolutely in love. So let me go ahead and talk about them now. Now top of my list, first thing I'm gonna talk about is sunscreen. We all know that we need sun protection. I'm not going to lecture you here because I'm not that type, but sunscreen has kind of been the bane of my existence because I don't love the feel of it. It tends to be greasy, leaves a white cast behind, doesn't gel with my skin, it's just ugh, and wearing it on the makeup is like ugh. But here's the thing. You need to wear sunscreen, especially if you're going to be out in the sun for prolonged periods of time, and you need to reapply it. So it's like, what do I do when I'm out in the sun, out and about, and I'm getting all that sunlight? I need to protect my skin to prevent aging as well as sun damage, and of course, skin cancer, right? But most of all, sun damage, because the sun these days, whoo, levels, okay? So I found two sunscreens that I don't mind wearing on my face and under makeup because they don't feel too heavy or greasy and they absorb pretty well into my skin considering that you have to use quite a bit of sunscreen. So I have the Glow Recipe Water Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen. This is SPF 50. This one is newer to the market. It's from Glow Recipe a brand that I love, okay, their skincare, top notch, has the expiration date on the back, which is key. But this one is a thin sunscreen that absorbs really well into the skin. Like, it goes on, no white cast. It's lightweight, doesn't feel greasy or sticky. Like, look at that, right? And that is really key because you are supposed to apply at least two finger lengths worth of sunscreen and then a third one for your neck. So a sunscreen for me has to be lightweight, has to absorb really well and work under makeup if I'm choosing to wear makeup. This one is a really good one. Again, no shiny greasy feel, okay? You let it sit on your skin, it absorbs really well and it just works. It also doesn't have a strong smell I like it. I like it quite a lot. So the active ingredients are homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, and zinc oxide. So if those are ingredients that jive with your skin, really great sunscreen and it's SPF 50. Another one that I really love is from Supergoop. This is the on-scene sunscreen. It has SPF 40 and it's water and sweat resistant up to 40 minutes. I don't think that this says it's water resistant, so it doesn't say that, it just says it's a mineral and chemical sunscreen hybrid mixture. This one has avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene as well, and it is non-irritating, no synthetic fragrance, and vegan. So, this guy, also lightweight, and instead of being a lotion, it is more like a clear silicone gel, which works great for under makeup. So this one, again, very lightweight, absorbs really well, and because it's lightweight, you can apply a significant amount of it. Now this one I prefer to wear without makeup because it's a little bit slippery. It's a little bit more on the silicone side, which can cause like liquid products and cream products to slide around. So I prefer to use this with a powder product. So I'll go in with a face powder or a powder foundation instead of a liquid foundation if I'm using this one. But these two sunscreens, really, really great. Now here's the thing, you're supposed to reapply sunscreen every two hours if you're in the sun, right? Because the active ingredients, they need to be reactivated, all right? They've used up their power, they need help, all right? I know a lot of us are like, that's really difficult. How do I do that? I have makeup on, what do I do? I've been using a spray sunscreen. So this is from 
La Roche Posay. It is SPF 60. It's the Anthelio 60 Ultralight Sunscreen Lotion Spray. Now, it's a lotion spray. It's just what you expect. It sprays on, but it's like a more lotion texture. I've been using this on the go to reapply my sunscreen. So, don't be scared. It's going to come out white. All right? So, you're probably not going to want to spray this directly on your face. Even though you could, if you're not wearing foundation or anything, or you don't mind getting it all over your face. But what I like to do is spray it on a sponge and tap it out. And I keep a sponge in my purse, okay, and a bottle of water, dampen my sponge, and what you can do is spray it directly on the sponge, like that, and then tap it over your skin, right? And this is gonna take some work because you're gonna have to layer it up to get the amount of sunscreen you need, but it's an easier way to apply than pulling out the lotion if I'm wearing makeup at all. So I can just dab it over my face, and it works really well. This is probably not the most ideal, but I do like this because it's quick and easy. I can spray it on my neck, on my decollete, and rub it in, which is something that I've been trying to do more because I'm getting like sunspots, and this is a part of my body that I would neglect to apply sunscreen. I would have it on my legs and my arms, but then I'd forget to put it on my neck and decollete, and it's like, that's where you show age. So this has been kind of my go-to for doing exactly that. And then I'll use some of it on my face as well. Now, as for the sunscreen that I use on my body that works really, really well, this is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel Lotion. It has SPF 50 and an invisible finish. This is really great for all over the body and you can use it on your face as well. In a pinch, I'll put this on my face because it's really lightweight, dries really quickly, shake it up definitely, but it dries really quickly and it's a water gel, so it's extremely lightweight. It has a little light blue color to it, but you'll just rub it in and it dries down without that white cast but you'll still get a little bit of a sheen to it. There's a little bit of a shine, so I prefer to use this for my body, but again, you can also use it for your face. This one has a light fragrance, and I just really find it comfortable to have on my legs, on my decollete, and on my arms, so this works really well as a body sunscreen. So that's the sunscreen out the way. The most critical thing for surviving the sun but that's not really what we were talking about. We started out talking about sweating. So what do I use to help with sweating? I'm not gonna get into antiperspirant and deodorant. I find that that is really, really personal. So go with your favorite antiperspirant if you use that, or if you wanna go for the all natural, non-aluminum types, that's up to you. Whatever works for you, just go for that. And I find myself actually rotating through different antiperspirants and deodorants anyway. Like I have to switch it up every couple of months because it just kind of stops working. I switch it up to another one and then I can switch back and just rotate that way. So that's how I handle deodorant and antiperspirant. But what I really needed help with was the sweaty, unfortunate areas, right? So, first thing I needed to figure out is how do I stop my feet from sweating? And I'm not going to use antiperspirant that I use under my arm, on my feet. Like, what do I need to do? Like, give me something. And I was Googling and figuring it out, and I found this, okay? This is the brand Carpe, okay? I think that's how you would pronounce it, Carpe, like Carpe DM. Seize the day, baby, because I really, really needed this. So this is the antiperspirant foot lotion. It says it's clinically proven to reduce foot sweat and it's dermatologist recommended. I don't read too much into that, but, okay, when I tell you this works, it works. So the directions say, wash and dry your soles thoroughly before application. So I apply this when I get out the shower, I dry my feet, I dry between my toes, and then I apply this. And you can apply this at night as well, and they actually recommend doing that. They actually say when you initially start using this to apply every night before bed, and an additional two times per day for at least four weeks. Now, I'm not gonna do that, okay? I don't need to do all of that. I don't need to see sweating all together but I do need this when I'm wearing my sandals and when I'm outside. So here's what you do. Wash and dry your feet. We already did that, dry between your toes. 
and then you get a dime size amount of this and you're like what's dime size that's dime size get it on your fingertip all right and what I do is apply it to where I know I'm gonna sweat you know what let me do some of that now so I I'm not gonna show you my foot <laughs> I apply it on the balls of my foot right all right I'll show you I apply it to the balls of my foot and then in between my toes because that's where I get slippery and sweaty so I apply it all over there right and then I also apply some to my insole and I let it sit rub it into your feet until it absorbs right it's gonna get sticky and then you let it dry let it air dry put your feet up let that baby dry okay it needs to dry before you do anything else and it dries pretty quickly give it like a minute or two do it to both feet all right let it set and then you're ready to go here's the thing though it is a little drying so it can come off a little bit ashy so after i let that absorb and dry i will go in with like a wet washcloth and just wipe off the excess around the sides of my feet where I don't need the antiperspirant there I just need it on the bottom so I'll wipe off the sides just to make sure that ash ain't showing because we don't want ashy toes either we want them to not sweat but we don't want it to be ashy right and I'll just wipe it off and that's it I apply lotion to the tops of my feet which we're fine we're not slipping around with that and we're out the door like come on it works so well my feet don't sweat I'm not slipping all around my feet are dry and they're comfortable and it's just a miracle worker and I've been so happy with it so much so that I was like all right what else do you have because I need I need to know what's going on because I have other parts that sweat so I go to the brand page lo and behold they have sweat absorbing breast lotion um hello okay thank you so much now technically you could probably use the foot lotion on your boobs but I'm not comfortable with that like mm -mm. the things that I use on my body are a little bit different than what I would use on my feet so I got the breast lotion all right this says using the towel completely dry the area again you got to apply to dry skin squeeze a quarter sized amount and apply between your breasts and under the soft folds how dare you talk about my folds okay any folds and rolls this is where you will put this this one is a little bit more liquidy make sure you shake it up because I feel like this one separates a little bit more than the foot lotion you get the amount that you need you don't have to use the quarter size just get the amount that you need I'm not gonna show you the demo now and you apply it under your boobs now this one has more of a hmm like a watery lotion texture and it feels a little bit grainy almost it's not quite dry and gritty but it has like a little bit of graininess to it I think that has to do with the yeah that's what I figured so this one has aluminum starch and tapioca starch in it so you can kind of feel that starchiness to it but it works really well you just apply it under the boobs and I don't have the sweat running down my boobs anymore and it doesn't feel uncomfortable it doesn't feel dry and tight it feels smooth like I applied powder so it's very comfortable so again another hit and I'm like what else do they have like I need to know all right here comes the no sweat thigh lotion they have me covered for every single thing all right so this one is the sweat absorbent thigh lotion moisture wicking chafe shield so if you chafe if you get sweaty this is for you so this has a fresh lily scent the breast one has a fresh aloe scent which oh I didn't even realize it because it's so light that smells good let me find out okay again it leaves a little bit of a powdery finish but it's really comfortable but that smells really good I didn't even realize it because it is such a light fragrance but it smells good so no one's gonna smell your brush lotion and be like why does she smell like that <laughs> it actually smells good does the foot lotion have a smell it doesn't say now the thigh lotion has a lily scent mm. so all right so again apply to clean dry skin and it says to use a quarter sized amount use however much you need to use all right so this one is thicker it's similar to the foot lotion in like its consistency it's a thicker lotion apply it to your inner thighs let me put some right now I'm not gonna demonstrate for you but whoo, 
not gonna waste it apply it to your inner thighs and let it dry now all of these products the foot lotion the breast lotion and the thigh lotion will leave some powdery residue so it looks a little bit dry it looks like powder it doesn't necessarily look like you sprayed powder on but it leaves like this white cast behind that looks powdery so if you're going to have exposed skin just be mindful of that it can show especially between your thighs my feet not a big deal under my boobs not a big deal but my thighs if I'm wearing shorts because I'm putting it between my thighs you can see that white residue so I allow it to completely dry before I put my clothes on and then I'll kind of just remove some of the residue with a damp washcloth so it doesn't look as evident and it still works it's just I'm removing some of that white cast from there but it helps with chafing so when my thighs are rubbing together I'm not feeling that chafing kind of painful effect like feels like your skin is getting rubbed off you know that feeling it actually feels very comfortable and it helps with the sweating and stickiness oh my god it's so good because I love wearing shorts I love wearing dresses and I'm gonna get sweaty I'm not even gonna play cute I get sweaty so I need something to help and these products really 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 help now I will warn you against the antiperspirant underarm lotion I was like those products work so well for me my feet are dry my boobs are dry my thighs are dry I'm gonna try the, the antiperspirant for under my arms no 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 it feels so clammy <laughs> okay it's a lotion for it so it actually feels a little sticky it's not the most comfortable it feels a little wet mm -hmm. and then I smell like a horse in like two hours so I stick to my regular deodorant and antiperspirants I use degree or dove I'm just saying all right stick to the devil that you know because mm -mm, because this one doesn't work really well so stay away from the antiperspirant but I highly recommend the foot lotion the thigh lotion and the breast lotion all right highly recommend this brand for saving the sweaty bits all right I'm just saying I recommend these try them out if you have the same problems that I do Listen, we have to talk about it. How else are we gonna get some help, right? So these products from Carpe, I'll leave links down below where you can pick them up. Really saved me, saved the breasts, saved the thighs, and saved the, the feet. I also tried another one that I wanna warn you about, all right? The Sweat Block Antiperspirant Lotion. I picked this up as well because I wanted to see if this would work as well as the Carpe one, because you know you wanna try different ones. This one, didn't work as well my feet still got sweaty so you can skip this one if you see it hands and feet sweat block you can pretty much say no to this one it had good reviews but for me it didn't work and then I also saw good reviews for the body glide anti chafe bomb so they have the for her which is a moisturizing anti chafe bomb and then the regular one these are from Target this is the original anti chafe it didn't work they feel nice they feel a little silicone-y but they actually didn't help with any sweat they didn't help with the chafing they didn't help at all they felt comfortable but it just still got sticky there I know that sounds bad but it didn't help at all my, my thighs were still sticking together so the one that really worked is the Carpe brand so there you go guys I promised I would share these products with you guys and of course I had to be a little bit TMI so you guys could understand the struggle okay that's what I've been going through and these products have really helped me out so let me know what other sweat blocking products you've tried that really work I'm happy with these right now okay I am really happy I've tried other brands along the way but these just really really work that's why I wanted to share them with you guys but yeah, leave ones down below that you've tried that work for you. Maybe that can be a suggestion for other people that are looking for solutions. I will also leave all the links and product details down below in the description box. If there are asterisks next to any of those links, I also have general links to like Macy's, Old Ten Sephora. If there are asterisks next to those links, it means it's an affiliate link, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. 
doesn't change the sale price it just gives me a kickback for putting you on so if I put you on consider shopping through my links but if you're not comfortable with that just shop the way you normally shop no must no fuss I'm still happy you're here watching you can also go ahead and leave me a comment favorite subscribe again if you like what you see and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter where we have tons more fun and until my next video which will be very soon I hope this one was helpful bye guys